Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. So because Valentine's Day is right around the corner, I feel like a lot of people don't really know about asexuals and dating or like they don't really think about asexuals dating. So today I figured why not answer some of Google's top questions about asexuality and dating. Mostly because I think it's a really common misconception that asexuals don't date or don't want to date or can't date. So I thought why not talk about it today? So let's get into it. Question one, do asexuals want to date? The answer is depends on the asexual. Honestly, I feel like a lot of these answers are going to be, it depends on the person, which I feel like applies to allosexual people as well. Asexuality is a spectrum. There are people on it who are completely sex repulsed and want nothing to do with it. There are people who are sex positive and are okay with doing those kind of things. Um, there are people who do feel sexual attraction sometimes just not all the time like allosexual people do so it's really a spectrum so if you are thinking about being interested in someone who is ace you literally just have to communicate with that person and figure out what they're comfortable with and as an ace person if you don't want to date that is completely valid you do not have to do anything you don't want to being in a relationship is not the end all be all like society has made us think and you are completely valid being by yourself you are a whole person you are good by yourself you do not need it if you do not want a relationship if you do want a relationship that is also valid and you are also deserving of love as well if you're deserving of love no matter what like no matter what you deserve love like asexuals need to hear that that's a thing you deserve love it depends on the ace person but there are a lot of asexuals that have a partner or partners and are in completely healthy relationships big misconception that asexuals don't date or don't want to date not true for everyone but it can be for some question number two can asexuals be attracted to anyone so attraction is a broad <laughs> a broad topic because if you're talking about sexual attraction people on the asexual spectrum feel little to no sexual attraction to anyone like i said before there are people on the asexual spectrum like gray sexual or demisexual fray sexual there are a lot of sexualities under the umbrella that do feel sexual attraction sometimes it's just not as much as allosexual people. So there are asexual folks that can feel it. If you're an ace person who has never felt sexual attraction, that doesn't mean you haven't been attracted to someone in another way. You can be attracted to someone romantically, platonically, sensually, aesthetically. There are a lot of ways to be attracted to someone without it having to be sexual, which I feel like a lot of people overlook a lot of the time and don't realize that allosexual people also take into account all of those other things as well. Um, it's just ace people think about it a little bit more than allosexual people because we're like, oh, am I actually feeling sexual attraction right now? Or is this platonic? Or is this romantic? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Technically, ace people can feel attraction. It just depends on what kind of attraction the ace person is feeling. Question number three, do asexuals only date asexual? The answer is no. <laughs> For the majority of asexual people, you are not going to be dating another asexual person. I think, I think they now say that it's asexuality is like between three and five percent, but I of the population. But I could be wrong. Um, I know for a very long time it's been like one percent. So I'm just gonna say that it's one percent. You can fact check me down in the comments below if you want. But yeah, it's probably very rare that an asexual person will also be dating someone who is asexual. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but the majority of the time you will most likely be dating someone who is allosexual if you are asexual. Question number four is, are asexuals interested in kissing? It depends on the ace person what they're comfortable with. I know that there are asexual folks who do not do any sort of physical thing, and I know that there are asexual folks who are completely comfortable doing a wide variety of thing and are even into kink and that sort of thing so again it kind of just depends on the ace person communication is key if you are interested in someone or your partner comes out to you as ace figuring out what those boundaries are and what both parties are happy with and what the ace person is comfortable doing or not doing it depends on the ace person if they are interested in that or not and they if they want to do it or not but i feel like that's like anyone just ask people before you kiss them if they want to be kissed like 
consent, consent, consent. It doesn't matter if you're asexual or not, like, just consent. Do asexual people like affection? <laughs> Speaking as an ace person, um, I know I do, but again, not every ace person is like that. I'm tactile in general, like, I love hugging my friends, I love cuddling my friends. I'm physical in general, outside of all that kind of sexual stuff but that's just me that's just what i like physical touch is my love language which i think is very ironic as someone on the asexual spectrum depends on the person i know i like it doesn't mean every single ace person likes it again it depends on the person what if my partner is asexual so i'm hoping that obviously not everyone will be out as ace before being in a relationship but if you know that this person that you're interested in and then being in a relationship with is ace communicate figure out what they're comfortable with what they're not i know sex can be a really big thing for some people in a relationship and other people don't really care figuring out if that's like a deal breaker for you maybe you shouldn't be with someone who's asexual if that's something that's a super big deal to you being able to figure out how to connect without being sexual which is honestly like really wholesome and sweet and like other forms of intimacy can like bring you so much closer to your partner in non-sexual ways so yeah figuring that kind of stuff out communication always yeah i just i I don't think it's that big of a deal in a relationship, but that's because I don't think it's that big of a deal for me, but I know it can be a big deal for some people. So take that into consideration if you know the person that you're interested in is ace, like if you are good with that, because you don't want to make the ace person feel guilty for being asexual because <laughs> oh, trust me, we already feel guilty enough for not feeling what other people feel or feeling like, oh, no one's going to want us because we don't feel those things or we don't always feel those things or there are conditions to us feeling those things. And uh, yeah, it's very guilt heavy uh, orientation, which can suck sometimes, but figure out if you can be with someone who's asexual before, like pursuing someone that you already actively know is asexual, like someone that has, is already out and stuff. If they come out in the relationship, that's a whole other topic. This last question is kind of rude. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Google, you're being a little bitch right now. Whoever is Googling this, um, I'm taking it not a good way. How do you survive an asexual relationship? That is not a nice question. <laughs> or maybe I'm just taking it wrong, I don't know. So I think you survive an asexual relationship, like you survive any other kind of relationship, like, you care about the person, you love them, you do what they're comfortable with, you respect them, you have boundaries, you communicate, like, you just have a relationship. It's just not, the emphasis is not on, like, the sexual stuff. Honestly, I think it's really nice to not have a relationship fully based on that kind of stuff. I think it makes it really, really beautiful because I feel like it's more genuine that way, but that's just me. I, I, I know I could be wrong. I know there are a lot of allosexual people who, you know, Obviously all love each other, but I don't know. I think because we live in a world that's so heavy on that, that not having a relationship fully based on sex is just really beautiful, um, to me at least. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see any more videos like this, me answering Google's top questions about certain sexualities, orientations, all of that jazz, or if you wanna see more stuff about asexuality and dating, let me know in the comments. I loved answering these. I wanna hear all of your opinions down in the comments because I love hearing other people in the community's opinions and ideas and all of that stuff. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.